Welcome to another trip down the Bourbon Road with your hosts, Jim and Mike. So grab a glass of your favorite bourbon and kick back. We would like to thank our friends at Premium Bar Products for sponsoring this episode. If you're ready to step up your game at your home bar, check out premiumbarproducts.com to choose from their wide selection of glassware, all of which can be custom engraved with your personal message or logo. And there's no minimum order. So after the episode, head over to premiumbarproducts.com and check out everything they have to offer. Now, let's get on with the show. Hello, everybody. I'm Jim Shannon. I'm Mike Hyatt. And this is The Bourbon Road. And today, Mike, another craft distillery. Past couple of weeks, we've been trying some rye. This is our second rye in a row. Chattanooga whiskey. Yeah, like Chattanooga Choo Choo. Chattanooga Choo Choo. So, yeah, they they sent us this rye. Um, It's one of their experimental ryes. One of their first, actually. It's 99 proof. You know, hey guys down there in Chattanooga, we got to say thank you for sending this to us to review. Um, we always enjoy people sending us their whiskey to talk about. Uh, beautiful bottle, by the way. Raised lettering on it and stuff. Beautiful color. The picture on it shows the Tennessee River uh, running through the valley there. Now, these guys do it right. Now, they've got an experimental still. And, uh, you know, they're constantly stepping out of the box and trying new stuff. And this is, I guess this product is now part of their main offering, but it came from their experimental collection. And uh, so they're having a lot of fun down there. Most definitely. Not an overly pricey raw whiskey. It's a suggested retail is thirty nine ninety nine. dollars yeah. that's, that's a pretty fair price for a craft distillery. Yeah, I think that's one thing to be said for Chattanooga. Their, their whiskeys are very affordable. They're in that sort of mid-price range, you know, craft distillery's got to charge a little bit more, but um, they're not up there in the $50, $60 range, so. Well, some of them are more than that. We've seen craft distilleries be all the way up into the hundreds, but I think this is that sweet spot for a craft distillery right there in that $40 range. Um, Guys like me and you can afford this, most definitely. Well, this is, this. they say there's four different grains in here, but this is a rye malt whiskey. And uh, in, adu- in addition to, you know, the rye malt, they've got a blend of slow roasted and drum roasted malts as well. So they uh, age it in 53 gallon charred oak barrels. And then they age it for greater than three years. And so read the, do me a favor. Read the mash bill off the bottom. Malted rye, yellow corn, caramel malted rye, and caramel malted barley. Caramel malted barley. Now, Chattanooga whiskey is known for a Tennessee high malt whiskey. Let's nose this thing and see what it is. All right. Definitely has that floral rye nose on it, yeah. which you'd expect from a rye whiskey. Not overpowering. Not a lot of alcohol coming out of there. I'm getting that cinnamon and rye and sort of uh, rye spices on the nose. A little bit more baking uh, spice, like yeah. a nutmeg. Not really getting much in the way of like, uh, I mean, you know, touch of anise or licorice, not much. Um, mostly baking spices, like you say. I'm not getting any dill or cedar or anything like that. No cedar? No cedar. Now, if everybody doesn't know what we're talking about, Cedar, one of the first episodes I did with Jim, uh, he said he got Cedar, and I asked him if he chewed on Cedar staves. Um, and now I'm kind of used to that. I get, I, as my whiskey knowledge has grown a little bit, I can see somebody smelling that uh, Cedar in something, and and they're getting being around Cedar trees or something. Um, the, the best thing is Juniper Cedar. Right. If you took Juniper, the berries off there, and rubbed them and smelt that you might get a little bit of that from a rye whiskey. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what happens when you drink whiskeys. You build that library of knowledge in your brain, those those tastes and aromas that you are able to identify later on down the road. And it seems like they come out in batches, right? But that's just you developing your palate, developing your sensory. And, uh, you know, it's just the way it works. What I would say about this on this nose, it's not very, it's not as pungent as... 
some of the other ryes we've drank lately where it's almost overpowering and it makes you not want to drink it. This right here has a beautiful nose on it to me. Yeah, it has a great nose. Not too much alcohol on it. It it doesn't uh, it doesn't have a bite on I don't say a bite on the nose, but I mean it doesn't have a bite on the nose. It's nice and gentle. It does have a spice to it, and you when you're sniffing it, you're like, you know what? I really hope the I really hope the palate follows that. Well, let's let's taste this. Let's thing. taste it. We talked about this before, but I get a little black licorice on this. Yeah, I think a little bit more on the palate. You ever go to your grandparents' house and they have that black liquor sitting in that candy dish? Yeah, and, and definitely, like, as I sit here with it and I let it just sort of rest in my in my palate, that black liquor is really starting to come out. It really is. Was that was it so old, though, at your grandparents' house that it was like rock? <laughs> you know, I, can't, I can't remember. But, yeah, this is, it's, it, the, nut, the palate's different than the nose. I think it's a little more baking spice on the nose, a little more licorice, anise on the palate. I got to say for a rye whiskey, it's very complex. It's got different layers to it. A little bit of citrus in there, maybe. Um, I want to say like a tangerine citrus. Yeah, I mean, even even the whorehound's coming out in it now a little bit. This is is fairly complex, and it develops. I think it develops. I think... You know, the longer it sits on your palate. Now, it doesn't have a big hug. And the finish is just kind of medium on it. But that palate keeps changing and keeps developing. Now, do you know if they're using a sour mash or a sweet mash there? I don't. You know, as our friend Pat Heist was talking about a, a sweet mash versus a sour mash, that sour mash could give you that Kentucky hug, where a sweet mash is a little bit more smoother and it will give you that... that that feeling of acid reflux a little right. bit. I would say they're probably doing a, a, a sour mash. And their tasting notes, they mentioned sort of an herbal. Herbal, I think, more like tea and um, grass and kind of lemon verbana maybe or some, some, you know, things like that. I don't know if it's herbal or not, but I'll, you know, I'm probably – one of the last humans on the face of the earth to like black licorice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, that's not a something you see too often. You almost got to search that stuff out. Kind of like whorehounds. It's not a candy that you see too often anymore. I like I gotta, that in my whiskey, though. I do like that in my whiskey. Yeah, I, th- this is a great expression. I, I got to salute them for always keeping to their their high balls um, up there on the Tennessee River. The, doing some great things out of there. I can't can't wait till we can actually sit down with them and do a full full episode with them. But this stuff, say so this finish is long. I would call this a sipper. Sit down and share it with a friend. Heck, I might even give this to somebody that is a big ride drinker like Jim yeah. Shannon. Yeah. I think if I received this bottle as a gift, I would be uh, tickled to death. I think I'd be tickled to death. I think I'd be really happy to have received it, and I would definitely enjoy it. I'm not going to call the finish long. You thought it was long. I think it's more medium, but we differ there. I think that there's not a great big giant hug on it, though. Um, this is probably a year-round ride for me. It's got a little more corn in, a little sweeter. I think this could uh, could stand up to cocktails wonderfully. You know, at the price point. Probably not a bad choice for cocktails, but I would tend to want to sip it myself. That's, I wouldn't call it a summer sipper, fall sipper. Um, Year round. Yeah. yeah. It is. It's a great whiskey. Um, when I say log finish, I guess I'm getting, after, after it's set on my palate a little bit, I'm getting this like spicy honey, almost like uh, I've got some jalapeno honey and it, it's got that little bit of kick to it on the, the tongue but not that like you said not a kentucky hug yeah so I, I like it that's saying a lot from the professed weed king of kentucky yeah yeah we we're, we're gonna keep drinking these ryes too until <laughs> but 99 proof um about three years old minimum minimum of three year old whiskey um out of chattanooga just like adam out of Chattanooga. Out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. And uh, it's good. It's a good high malt rye. I think it um, stands out as something a little bit different than what you find in the market. 
a little bit sweeter, got a little bit of corn sweetness on it. I missed that on the label, but it's there. So if you're out there and you want us to review your whiskey, your craft distillery, you know, shoot us an email, team at the bourbonroad.com, Mike at the bourbonroad.com, or Jim at the bourbonroad.com, info at the bourbonroad.com. Shoot us an email, one of us will get back to you. Send us your whiskey. We'll review it. That's um, right. We, and we, we have a private us. Facebook group uh, called the Bourbon Roadies. It's uh, it's about a thousand like minded folks now, I think, and growing every day. We got giveaways going on. We've got a lot of fun chatter and sharing of pictures and bottles. And there's no there's no selling, but we do like to share our whiskey with each other and uh, give reviews and a lot of great photos. A lot of good people on there. No rudeness. No rudeness. We don't do that. If you if you do like that stuff, if you like our group, um, we sell some swag on our website. Some of our glasses from our one of our sponsors, distillery products and premium bar products, where you could go and get glasses made for your own bar. Uh, go check them out. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all the social medias at the Bourbon Road. Yeah. If you're listening to this right now and you like these reviews, you like our regular episodes, just go on up, hit that subscribe button, and then scroll back down and please leave us a review. It gets more whiskey in our hands to review. It also gets people to sit down with us and do reviews. Um, we hope you like listening to us. You can find me at One Big Chief on Instagram. I'm Jay Shannon63, and we will see you down the Bourbon Road. <laughs>